If you're Vietnamese, the, the Colossus to the North, to coin a phrase, uh, is the ever-present strategic issue. And if you're a Vietnamese senior official or Vietnamese strategist, you're constantly focused on how to maintain Vietnam's freedom of action vis-à-vis uh, -vis China. If you look at the deeper, I mean, underlying factors that, um, that influence the triangular relationship between Vietnam, China, and the United States, from American point of view, China can be a potential rival. It is potential rival and competitors. So we have concern about China, but Americans have no concern about Vietnam. Vietnam is no threat to American security. So that is one thing that works well for U.S.-Vietnam relations. And there's only one place you can go, to be serious about it, uh, as a Vietnamese strategist to get real capacity to sort of balance China, and that's with the United States. The, the U.S. is the only player in the game that can bring the kind of power to bear that can force the Chinese to back off in a, in a, in a crunch. Okay, so that is a very strong imperative to build a strategic relationship with the United States if you're Vietnamese, a security imperative. You wouldn't have thought, early 1980s say, that, that, with, that with all those wounds raw and bleeding, that you could have built a, a real affection between the senior official, where they really like each other. They really like interacting with each other. They really, they really want to make this work because, you know, it, it's something they feel in their gut a little bit. And yet that's happened. I think it's from American point of view, we have no concern of Vietnam threat. But for the Vietnamese, they still worry about the so-called peaceful evolution. That means American intervention to change the communist regime. On the other hand, uh, this is a communist government. It has a central committee and a Politburo. It's authoritarian. It, 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 it traces its lineage from Ho Chi Minh, all the rest of it. And there aren't very many communist governments left, avowedly communist, and one of them is in China. And the Chinese and the Vietnamese parties share a history. So if you're in the party in Hanoi, uh, the the party-to-party -party relationship between Hanoi and China is very important. So so Viet and and if you're in the party, you're very much concerned with maintaining the party's monopoly of political power. Now, why Vietnam, you know, in practicality, is no longer a communist ideology anymore, but it's still a communist country. And there's here, we have some kind, we can call it regime incompatibility. A democracy and a communist authoritarian countries, uh, you don't expect it to have a very good relation in the long run. The Vietnamese have a very complicated, challenging game to play.